This video segment demonstrates some informal activity areas and ideas. In this example, the tour guide avatar is standing in front of our guestbook, printing the log traffic for the day on screen, presented here by the names of the avatars who have passed by this object. We are walking towards our multimedia stage, where one can host live events, formal and informal gatherings, or simply have a music stream playing for get-togethers like in this example. Here we have a social event featuring live DJ controlled music streams and avatars dancing, controlled by either a dance script in the inventory or by simply clicking onto an object to join the group dance. The sole purpose of this is to communicate with each other or to meet new people. This is the open chat log during this event. Our conference center has been modeled on the original environmentally friendly design of the Academic Research Center. Besides from voice communicating through a microphone attached to the computer, regular text chats are an option. The written word can be recorded via this chat logger, a convenient alternative for the person having to keep the minutes. Once the chat logger is turned on and as soon as somebody starts typing, a prompt for permissions to record the conversation appears in the top right corner. Declining it will cease recording only for the declining person. Recording for all others will continue in the color-coded format as indicated here. In June 2009, the School of Business held its first in-world convocation for its undergraduate learners. Several walls of fame were created on the AU island with the first names and other information of all the grads from across the world. The center of the amphitheater held a screen with images of the live convocation that had been held the previous week. The in-world event was attended by six graduate avatars, but only on two weeks notice. The live convocation was attended by 27 of a possible 184 graduates, by contrast. Besides informal conversations with each other, the graduates visited one-on-one -on -one with the director of the then School of Business. Several of the avatars brought friends or family to participate in the activities or watch on screen. The in-world convocation was a means to acknowledge the significant accomplishments of these graduates who would otherwise not be able to attend their live graduation and would only receive their parchments by mail. It's hoped that a similar option will be available to the faculty of business undergrads as well as those of other centers next year. This ends our demonstration of the AU Second Life Island. We would like to acknowledge the significant contribution of Gunnar Schwede to its development. The island would not have been possible without his often unrecognized time and effort.